Hey friends! Hey friends, and happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. It is almost six o'clock, 6 p.m. I'm cooking dinner, and I thought, I'm cooking a keto dinner anyway, might as well take you guys with me. I can't stay off of YouTube, somebody send help. Can't stay off YouTube. So, if I get a wild hair, I might upload this tonight. If not, you'll see it tomorrow, and I'll just be a day without uploading, not sure. I'm also on my Instagram, which if you're not on my Instagram, why? Other than if you don't want Instagram, you don't like Instagram, and you don't do that form of social media, totally get it. But if you have an Instagram, and you're not on mine, why? Just kidding, but seriously, go follow me. There, I have a poll going, or question area going, for questions for me and John to answer in tomorrow's video, which will be a Q&A. Yay! Couples Q&A. So, go to my Instagram, add me, ask a question, thank you so much. Now, the dinner for tonight is super easy. John, funny story, John's aunt, they have like lots of animals, well, not lots, they have three, but two dogs and a cat. John's really allergic to cats. So he took children's Zyrtec before we went, and I think he took too much, well I know he took too much, and now he's exhausted and sleeping. I'm here to cook. I'm going to do steak keto steak fried rice. This is our version of Chinese food on keto. It's really easy, takes absolutely no effort, and anybody can make it, which is like the three components of making a meal for Lauren. Um, it can't be hard. Obviously, we all saw that whole, um, oh, food processor debacle. <laughs> I wish I could say that's the first time something like that's happened to me, but that would be a lie. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the ingredients, how I cook it, what I do with it, how it tastes. It's really good, it's really simple, it's really easy, and I think you guys will really like it. If I say really one more time, make it a drinking game. For this recipe, you're gonna need an onion, but these are small, so I'm gonna cut up two. Those are white onion, and I have one bag of rice cauliflower already cooked, and I have another in the microwave as we speak. I do not rice my own cauliflower. Um, I will never rice my own cauliflower because steaming bag. It's so easy, anybody can do it. That's what I like. Then we have our handy dandy air fryer. She has done me so proud. I use her five days a week and I just, I love her. If you're asking, what is that red mark? That's Mio. Uh, it stains your hands, so don't do that. Oh, and Cheez-Its and cleaner and pens and a notebook, yeah. So this is the air fryer that we use. It is by Farberware, which that reminds me of fava beans. <laughs> In a nice Chianti. No, nobody? Okay, so this is the air fryer we use and I'm putting two packages of, what is this? Oh, beef sirloin stir fry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the air fryer at 350 for 10 minutes. Here's my meat gloves. Meat gloves. I usually do a Grey's Anatomy reference when I put these on, but not today. Not today. Because today's a great day to save lives. <laughs> if you don't know, is you don't put oil in it at all. I just put, the seas the steak. Oops. I'm just gonna put the steak directly in the bottom of this with a little bit of seasoning, and that's that. It's super easy. Um, cleaning on this one, I would say, like the black plastic part's coming off a little bit, but it was pretty cheap for an air fryer. So break your meat up a little bit in here. Um, you don't want it totally bunched up or else it won't cook all the way. Honestly, Thank you so much for these gloves because it makes handling meat so much easier for me. I don't gag as bad. I'm back. You want a popsicle? Come here, please. Okay, so the meat is in here. Now we're gonna season. Okay, I'm gonna season the meat with this wanted Texas style barbecue rub. It's just really peppery and flavorful. You do not need a lot of this at all. So I'm gonna put some of this on the steak and you can find this seasoning at Aldi. A little bit. It might not look like a little bit right now, but it's a little. So you close the air fryer, you put it on the temperature, which is 350, and then you just crank the timer. A little, I'm gonna do like 12 minutes. And we just let her do her thing. And now we move on to the rice. Who loves magic editing? Am I right? So make sure you have a walk. If you don't have a walk, that's okay. Lean with it, walk with it. So make sure you have something bigger to cook everything in. And how I'm gonna start this is we like eggs. We like eggs in our fried rice. And a lot of times when you make fried rice, you just put the egg in with the rice mixture and let it like cook. Uh-uh, I don't do that because it, it's mushy and I don't do mushy. So 
I'm going to scramble a couple eggs first, and then we'll put those to the side, saute up some onion, and then we'll go from there. So first, eggs. So I have my pan heating up. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of butter in for my eggs. Spoon, but hey, maybe a little bit more. No, that's good. Okay, go get my eggs. Hold on, don't go anywhere. Do not go anywhere. <laughs> you. So excited that I'm cooking. Now I'm going to just scramble them right in this pan because your girl is lazy and I don't want to dirty another dish because that's one more dish that I have to clean up and I don't feel like doing that. Wash your hands because salmonella is real. Fork. Scramble. See how easy this is? Anybody can do it. And if I can do it, that means you can do it. Has anybody seen me cook on this channel? It's a mess. It's not okay. I make people really uncomfortable with my cooking, so I'm hoping to redeem myself with this easy recipe. What do you think? Plus, I just wanna check and say hello. Egg cook, and while that cooks, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our onion. Hi, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't wanna see me cut an onion, so I'm gonna take this time to chit-chat with you for one minute. So, back on keto, feeling great. <laughs> really, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am going to be okay. Um, as far as that letter goes, I've had some time to think about it, and although I am still sad, I am more sad for this person that they can't speak to me, so it's just very complicated, but I'm not angry anymore. I'm over the anger part, and I'm more like sad for them, so um, that's where I'm at as far as that goes. I'm feeling a bit better myself. I We had a really good day with Uncle Johnny. What's up, baby girl? Does eggs. See eggs? Don't touch, it's hot. Um, we had a really good time at Uncle John's uncle's house. Ella loves it there. She has the best time. So she swam in the pool. We all spent quality time together. John was passed out on Zyrtec, which, do I have the bottle still? It's children's Zyrtec. He only took like twice the amount, which makes me nervous that I'll never give it to Ella because like, hello, that's super dangerous. I'm cutting an onion up. I was gonna do two, but I think I'm gonna stick to one. I just don't have any other vegetables to add in. No, we're going to. So, um, we had a really nice visit. It was nice. Cancer sucks, but we've had so much quality time with him that it's just been really, really nice. And I just can't seem to stay off of YouTube. Like, I put the camera down. I didn't film anything today. I was like, oh, I'm gonna film my weekend. I didn't. I just love the interaction with you guys. I love this little family we have going on. I've had so many messages and just so much love and I just, <laughs> I just can't. I'm crying because onion is so powerful. I gotta get some onion goggles. Priscilla has some and she uses them. I just stick my head in the freezer. Anyone else? Oh gosh. I just put my eyes towards where it blows. Alright, back to cutting. You guys loving these artsy shots? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. I'm holding on. Everything's good around here. Um, like I always say, I'll always be good. Bad day, not bad life. And I've had time to think about it. Okay, we need to go ahead and stir these eggs a little bit. I just scramble them like regular scramble. So there's no specific way. I just scramble them up. And then I'll put them in the bowl on the side while I saute the onions. This is probably one of our favorite meals. John, fun fact had Chinese food on, at his first birthday party, so he's literally been on the hard stuff, MSG, since birth. <laughs> and he loves Chinese food. We had regular Chinese food not long ago as like a cheat meal. And um, this is not the same, but it is pretty good if you season it right. So I say give it a try. I always do a simple, and if it's in one pot or like one pan on the stove, sign me up. What? I, I don't like dishes, so if there's less dishes, less problems. Down below, I want to hear your one pan meal. If you have a meal that you only need one pan to make it, please leave it down below and let me know what it is. I would love to hear it. I'm looking for new things to eat and switch up as far as our dinners go. So give me some easy stuff, guys. I like easy. I really do. You guys, I've made taco skillet on my channel before. That's amazing. 
um, one pot really easy. Amanda always has great keto recipes on her channel, obviously. Gotta plug my girl, Keto Ginger. I'll leave a link for her down below. Priscilla from Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. I will also link her channel down below. Those two are actual chefs. They make actual food, and it's good. This is kind of winging it. This is good, but it's not chef good. Okay, so now I have my scrambled egg in a bowl, and I have my wok. So I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil and add in my onion, saute it up. I like mine to be clear, and then I'll show you what we do next. Caught up in the rhythm of it. Something I can't hide. Okay, so our steak just dinged, ding. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. I should probably do a thumbnail first. This is annoying. I feel like I do this pose for everything. She looks good. So they're done. Don't cook steak too long and it gets really tough. I'm going to let that chill in there. And we'll come back to the onions. I cook them in the same pan I cooked the egg in. It's not pretty, but like I said, one meal, one pot. All the flavors. Mary, I don't know. I'm just trying to use chef terms at this point. We usually start the bedtime routine around 6.30, 7 o'clock. It's 6.30. She's been up since 3.30. So you see when, and if I put her to bed later, she'll still wake up early. So we just find it's better for everybody if she just goes to bed early. She sleeps better when she goes to bed early. So she probably won't fall asleep until about 7, 7.15. So it all works out. But we're going to start the bath. Well, she already had a bath. We're going to do, um stories tuck her in all of that jazz while the onions cook on low <clears throat> you say good night friends goodbye friends goodbye friends okay you see how the onions are getting clear that's good that's what we want them to look like time to add the rest i should preface this by saying it's not the most appetizing looking meal but it is good and that's all that matters right paula dean is shook okay so into our wok we already have the onion we are going to add two bags of cauliflower rice. Already cooked. Make sure you cook it before you put it in. There's one. I have two different brands. This is Winn-Dixie brand and then I have the Bird's Eye brand. Doesn't really matter. Any cauliflower that's cooked will do. So we have the two bags. We're gonna add our scrambled eggs. And then we're going to add our steak. Oh yeah. Boom, chicken. Oh. Some soy sauce, some butter, and some garlic powder. That's it. That's it. And it tastes so good. So, you're going to watch me do um, ingredients. Watch me do meat. <laughs> I'm going to put, I guess this is measured, two and a half tablespoons of butter, the whole thing. Good for fat. Garlic powder. You can add garlic salt. I don't like to salt my food too much, especially if I've had a lot of salt today. So, garlic powder. Soy sauce. I would say about two tablespoons of soy sauce. It comes out slow, so. And now stir it all up. Not super appetizing looking, but it makes a lot and it's really, 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 really good. Like, so good. So what I do now is after it's all stirred in, the butter has to melt and everything, I cook it on a very, very low heat for 20 minutes and then we eat. How easy is that? All the things in this are cooked, we just cook it really low and slow. And then towards the end, I'll crank the heat up on it and get the rice kind of that crispy, like fried rice texture, but that's it. That's dinner. Okay guys, that's dinner. How easy was that? And it's super simple to make, it's good, it's keto. And I'm glad the day is over, honestly. I'm ready for a fresh new day tomorrow. I'm feeling better today. I hope you're feeling better today. And I just wanted to get a quick little I love you and here's a little something, what we're having for dinner. You guys ask me what I cook all the time even though I'm not a chef. You guys are interested in what I'm cooking. So that's it. Lazy keto steak fried rice. Easy, lazy, my favorite things. So. I hope you guys had a really great Saturday. I know I did. I love you all so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, friend. Bye, friend. Bye, friend. Bye, friend. I love you so much.